So, genuinely, thank you all for 500 subs, or 500 plus 50-ish at this point. Uh, sorry. Little late, but, you know, the idea is still there, right? Uh, so yeah, this is how I make my videos, for the most part. Um, hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Alright, pass Matt, take it away. So, first step is obviously record a video. Unfortunately, I can't really record myself recording a recording. So, you're gonna have to just uh, imagine I did it. Uh, in case you want to know how to do that specifically, you basically record for about an hour. Uh, make sure, well, not necessarily an hour, just make sure you got the spicy clips, right? And then, well, after that, you're on to step number two. Step number two is a very important. Editing, alright? If you don't edit, your video's going to be trash. Okay? Edit, kids. If you're starting a YouTube channel and you don't edit, you know, no one's gonna like your shit, okay? Or at least there's a pretty good chance they won't. It, it's necessary, trust me. So, uh, the way I edit, I do two rounds. First round is chopping out all of the excess and uh, really like painfully boring clips. Uh, basically, you know, so by the end of it, you'll have a uh, roughly 10 to 15 minute uh, video, as you can see right down there. And that's going to be the general length of the video. So after phase one, phase two starts. That's uh, adding all the music, adding like the end screen uh, up here and any graphics that I want. Uh, in this particular video, which is actually the Sky Wars, uh, the Chill Sky Wars video, there's very, very little editing, so there's the only graphic here we have is, uh, that. So, after that is done, you do one final sound check, just watch it through, make sure the music is, uh, leveled enough, make sure the audio is not, not out of sync. At least as best you can, because if it's out of sync and someone gets ear raped in the middle of the video, <laughs> they're not coming back. Alright, next step is exporting and making the thumbnail. And, you know, uploading all the other stuff. Well, hey, congrats. You get to see how I make my thumbnails. Uh, don't steal it, please. Uh, <laughs> this is all I have. I don't know how to make any other thumbnails. Uh, I am using paint.net. So, it's, uh, it's a free download because I am cheap like that. Now, if you want to download it, I'll uh, put a link of some sort in the description. Hopefully, Matt. Don't, don't forget that. Uh, so, the way I normally start out my thumbnails is with a nice, good old... Image from Minecraft, you know, is the background, you know, kind of drop. Uh, I got this nice capture right here from uh, the video, or just, you know, just a random place I got. Uh, then, first things first, I'm going to actually create a new layer, duplicate this, put that in between, and then this, see, so this layer right here is basically a, like, trash layer so I can see what I'm cutting out behind me. Eraser, scroll in a bit, make my eraser a little bit bigger, and now we're going to cut this snowman out. Uh, the reason we're doing that is so I can highlight him, which I will show you how to do that in a hot second. Uh, that little hole there is from me uh, deleting stuff right there, so that's not a problem. So I'm going to, I'm just going to speed this up actually. So uh, future Matt and post speed this up. And there we are, Mr. Snowman is cut out. So we can now, um, whip out the magic wand, which selects all the pixels that are, like, basically not connected to Mr. Snowman, because we don't need those. Because that will be my background, and I will blur it. So we'll just turn up the tolerance basically all the way up. Okay, touch less. Touch less. Touch less. Touch less. There we are. Cut all that out. Now you can see Mr. Snowman all by himself, just what we want. This layer is now useless, and as you can see, now we have one layer with just Mr. Snowman, and the background. Now what I like to do is make this blurred a bit. So we go to Gaussian Blur, and just turn it up a touch. Just a touch, not too much. Just so it's out of focus. See? Since we cut out Mr. Snowman, now he's nice and, uh, nice and solid. Now, I'm going to make an outline of Mr. Snowman. We're going to duplicate him. Get a magic wand. Tolerance down, so you select everything around him. And now, if you hit the hotkey Control i it selects just him. Uh, pick a color. I'm thinking... How about a nice... What a nice blue. What a nice light blue. A little darker. There we go. Get this line tool. Turn her up. 
and make him blue. So don't worry, don't forget we duplicated this layer, so now we can drag him behind, and see nothing's really changed. Now with this, you want to go effects back to good old Gaussian Blur. Turn her up. Uh, the smaller this number is, the thinner the border. I like about 8, between 8 and 12. Add that. And now we just hit that and duplicate her a few times. And would you look at that, Mr. Snowman? Now has a nice outline. Oh, Jesus, let the catch up for a bit. Oh, Lord. All right, there we go. Then you can, if you want to do it a quicker way, you can merge these down and then duplicate it like that, but no need in this case. And now is the time we add text. Now we do a similar thing, uh, in particular where you, uh, with the outlining, because outlining makes everything look nice. And we're, and we're gonna tape chill, make it white, and big. Actually, I don't want it to say chill. I want it to say Sky Wars. Sky War. Shrink it down just a touch. Right there. And right in the middle neck under Mr. Snowman. And chill. There we are. Make sure to line up your texts. Uh, I don't know if there's a proper way to do this, because I'm still not too good at photo editing. I'm self-taught after all, I'm not any expert. There we go. That's looking pretty good, I would say. Maybe a little bit, uh, right there. Perfect. Now we do the same thing that we did with Mr. Snowman's outline. Uh, if, if you have little, little areas like this, you can hold shift and left click, which gives you uh, all the area in between. Hit Control I, and we'll do a nice, uh, do a nice black outline for this. Get my favorite line tool. There we are. Layer down, and click on the layer. Effects, blurge, Gaussian blur, ten. There we go. Duplicate, duplicate, down, down, and duplicate her a few times. There we go. As you can see, nice and bold. Uh, this is, I will say, one of my more... But, eh, a little, a little more boring, but... Not really much I can do with this type of video. Without knowing how to <laughs> draw. So I think that would be good enough. One final touch. I always like to add. Is something, uh, it's like a thumbnail, uh, thing I always add. If you look in, like, the little, uh, corner... Uh, it's basically an overlay. So, open that. Cut her out. And this is just a little thing I like to do. Uh, I saw it on a YouTube video once saying that if you did this, it helps people know who made your stuff. I'm not really sure if that's true, but hey, worth a shot, right? So, that's the thumbnail. Then you simply file, save as, and save her as a PNG. Now, I know you can't see that because it's a file and it's only recording paint on net, but that's that's the gist of it. All right, back over to the upload screen, which should have actually been going this entire time. Alrighty, back on over to the video, as you can see. So, as you can see, it has actually completed uploading while we were gone. Perfect. Just what we wanted. Now we can do uh, the name. Uh, the, I don't really have a naming strategy, quite frankly. Just say something that's going on in the video. Sky Wars and Chill. Or Chill. Or perhaps Sky Chill and Sky Wars. There we are. Spelling is hard. Uh, description, you can write whatever you want. I'll write that in a second off screen, but just, just grab your video. Add some jokes if you want. Over here, you can get a playlist. Add her to the playlist so people can find your shit. At least if they want to see more of it. There we go, Sky Wars. Uh, tags. Uh, I'll add those off screen as well, but just, you know, tags of what you're doing in this. It's Sky Wars. Uh, game title. Minecraft. Comet visibility. Yes, yes, yes. And that will be good for that screen. I'll come, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do it now, actually. 
So Matt, cut to the future. Alrighty, got my a big boy description done, and also got my tags done. So now we have to upload the thumbnail that we have just made prior. By uh, I'm not sure how many minutes, probably a few. Sky War, oop, Sky War. There we go, and open. Ah, see, remember that? Everything else looks fine. Uh, final steps then are end screen. Uh, the way I do it is I just have one that I import from every other video. So I have like my nice 15 long second stretch right there. Ooh, this looks a bit long actually. We're going to have to... Let's see actually. Yep. So buffer up right about there. Again, always double check your work. Gotta make sure it looks nice and spicy. Uh... Playlists is wrong here as well. So let's click that. I would. Oh, there we go. Sky Wars. Save that. And perfection. Uh, I don't need any info cards in this one. And I think we're set. Last step private to public. Also, if you want to um, make a video beforehand, you can just set it to your schedule. And it'll schedule anytime you want. I don't actually end up doing that too often because I, uh, I, t I tend to make my videos right as they're due. So, uh, whoops. Very useful feature, though. Hit save. And there you go. Vid is out. Everyone is probably happy. Thanks for watching. And as you can see, Vid is out. There we go. Nice and public. And as you can see, vid is now out, public, no restrictions, which is always a great sign. So if I ever end up getting monetized, I don't have to pay. Or so I can get paid. And there you go. Over to you, future slash editor Matt, who's showing the new stuff we're adding to the channel. And finally, one change that's been desperately needed. Updates to both my avatar and my channel art. Ooh. I mean, I made that old stuff when I was at, like, what? 10 20 subs when i barely knew how to photoshop as you can see i've gotten quite a bit better and now let's go take a little looky and there we go much needed very nice looking i'm very happy with these so yeah thank you all for watching thanks for sticking with me for these first 500 subs or 556 at this point and i hope you all have a good day